Welcome back. All right. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if some of Hollywood's most iconic roles were played by other stars? From Elle Woods to Captain America, you're going to hear about the hottest parts that got away from our favorite actors in a brand new segment we're calling Turn Down for What? <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> okay. While speaking at Cannes Film Festival, Matt Damon opened up about the amazing role and windfall that he missed out on. Another time I made a moral decision was when I was <laughs> offered a little movie called Avatar. <laughs> I turned down, and I will go down in history as the person, because Jim Cameron called me, he offered me 10% of Avatar. <laughs> oh, God. You will never meet an actor who turned down more money than me. So, but I was in the middle of shooting the Bourne Ultimatum. I told him I couldn't walk away from this thing that I'd spent all these years doing, and and he was really great about it. And he said, and he said, you know, I'm, uh, he, he really celebrated that decision. So at least I got a pat on the back from Jim Cameron. <laughs> So Matt Damon, a.k.a. Oscar winner, a.k.a. man who walked away from a boatload of money. Oh, Sam Worthington, you should send Matt Damon a flower or a gift each year as a thank you. Like a million dollars, though. <laughs> a million dollars. All right. Well, on Watch What Happens Live, Matthew McConaughey dished on the blockbuster role. He wasn't all right, all right, all right about losing. <laughs> you auditioned for Titanic? The audition went really well. Really? <laughs> enough, well enough for when I left, I was being glad-handed and slapped on the back like, you, this is what we were looking for. Mm -hmm. You got it. Enough, well enough where you get outside, mm -hmm. you call your agent and go, oh, I nailed it. Mm -hmm. we, we, th this, this is happening. They're all happy too. And then there was a rumor, and James Cameron started this rumor somehow, that I got the role and didn't do it. This is false. <laughs> if I did get the role and didn't do it, that agent who said I wasn't doing it is in big trouble. It makes me really think about what that movie would have been like with you. I, I can see it. It worked out for them. Yeah, that yeah it was okay. <laughs> I mean, I would say it worked out for both Leo and Matthew. And of course, remember, they teamed up later when they did The Wolf of Wall Street together, which was amazing. Yeah. Madonna has been wowing audiences on stage for years, but she told Drew Barrymore that she could have wowed them in an alternative universe. My question for you was, have you said no to anything that you wish you had said yes to? And what was that thing? Oh, that's a good, good one. Good question. Yeah, I was given the script to The Matrix. I was offered what? the role of Trinity? Trinity. Yeah, and I, You're read kidding. This, I read this script. And I'm like, this is the stupidest I've ever read in what? my life. What? I turned it down. Wow. Three sequels later, everybody. Okay, but if Madonna had done The Matrix, yeah. think of all the music we would have missed out on. Exactly, Justin. Now, moving on to the Grand Norton Show, where Taylor Swift kept it real about not landing a very coveted film. I was auditioning for two roles in Les Mis, and I'd done a few auditions and gone to New York and whatever, and I think it had been established that I I had more of a look of Cosette, but I had the range vocally of Eponine. So it was established that, like, I was there for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the roles that Taylor tried out for eventually went to Amanda Seyfried and Anne Hathaway. Swifties, don't be upset. Yeah, they were great in those roles. And remember, Anne landed her first Oscar. Come she on. was so good. When John Krasinski chatted with Ellen, he told her why he wasn't quite suited to play a legendary superhero. So you knew Chris Evans already? I did. We weirdly went to rival high schools at the same time. You did audition for the same role. I went in and I tested for Captain America, got to wear the suit, um, which was really fun. I, this is a true story. I was putting the suit on and the guy was like, this is really momentous. And I said, yes. And I was putting the suit on and I was halfway up, not wearing any other clothes other than this. And I was halfway up and I was like, I think. And right at that moment, Chris Hemsworth walked by and he was like, you look good, mate. And I was like, Nope. You know what? It's fine. <laughs> we don't have to do this. Nope, we don't. He was just, like, jacked. Yeah. And he was like, you're going to look great in that suit. And I was like, don't make fun of me, Hemsworth. I acted my heart out that yeah. day. Yeah. And it didn't work out. 
more, John. That good old high school rivalry with Chris <laughs> Evans lives on. But on the plus side, he did get to meet Chris Hemsworth. So I think it's, you know, I think it was good. It's been a terrible day to see Chris no. Hemsworth like in the... All right. Moving on, Meryl Streep may be the most in-demand actress today, but when she visited Graham Norton, she explained why she wasn't cast in a classic horror film, and you won't believe the reason. Although the success was very fast and everything, yeah. not all the editions went that brilliantly <laughs> I know. In, in the beginning. No. Do you know the one I'm talking about? No. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the one with Dino De Laurentiis. Oh, auditioning, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, well, that was for King Kong. Uh, Not for, for, for King, the girl. Yeah, 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 for the girl. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, Dino De Laurentiis Sr. And his son um, had seen me in a play. I walked in and... And his son was sitting there, very excited that he'd brought in this new actress. And the father said to his son, in Italian, because I understand Italian, he said, Che brutta. You know, why do you bring me this ugly thing? Whoa. Yeah. Very sobering, oh. you know, as a young girl. Um, so I said to him, Mi dispiace molto, me. You know, but I understand what you're saying. I'm sorry I'm not beautiful enough to be in King Cop. <laughs> I mean, look at this photo of Jessica Lang who got the part. I mean, she and King Kong definitely had a little bit of chemistry, it but was... Meryl got balls, and, okay? And Meryl is gorgeous. Yes. Meryl is gorgeous. <laughs> And when Christina Applegate sat down with Andy Cohen, she cleared up rumors about turning down playing a beloved blonde. My question for Christina, is it true that you turned down playing Elle Woods in Legally Blonde? And if so, do you regret it? The story's been out there, but I wasn't, like, actually offered it. The script came to me, but at that time, I had just gotten off of Married with Children, and I felt like it was too close to what I had just been doing, and I was uh -huh. very interested in not, like, removing myself from that. No, I don't regret it because Reese Witherspoon did a much better job than I ever could. And she has now way more money than I do and way more success. <laughs> and so why would I, why would I even regret that? All right, I think uh, this is, you know, it worked out. Like, yeah, it was supposed to, you know? And listen, Reese is Elwood's, like Christina said. She <laughs> nailed it.